Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the ESPN recap from Saturday, August 27th. That was main evented by Jose Pedraza against Richard Comey in a lightweight fight. Or in a, I'm sorry, a 140 pound junior welterweight showdown. Um, as uh, you know, it was a crossroads fight um, for the two guys. But uh, we're going to discuss the co-feature that saw Jared Anderson return. Uh, took an on, taking on some combining or something and he just blasted him out the guy's name's not worth remembering jared anderson just uh on fire a big uh knockout win second round knockout stopped um stopped his opponent uh pretty impressively and now you know he's not a top 10 guy but he's undefeated and on the rise and i really think it's time he needs to start stepping up his opponent selection uh, going forward you know i really think he's there he's looking good good technique and he's got pop so um gonna be interesting to see what he does next um hopefully we you know he can return in a few months uh get right back on it and maybe against a kind of a top 15 top 20 guy because heavyweight is uh is is a good division a fun division right now so we'll see next up um now the main event jose pedraza the former two division world champion at 130 and lightweight taking on former lightweight champ Richard Comey. This was a, you know, like I said, it was a crossroads fight and it really became a pick your poison type fight. I've, I've said it a many, many times. Um, they went back and forth, a lot of action, good shots landed, but you had the work rate of Richard Comey versus the uh, more crisp punching of Jose Pedraza and uh, Comey was coming forward Pedraza was boxing. Um, I, you know, I didn't score the fight myself. I was kind of giving it the eyeball test. I had stuff going on, but it was a close competitive bout, and I don't have a problem with it with it ending in a, ending in a draw um, like it did after 10 rounds because it really was, you, you're looking at volume punching or, you know, or who's landing the, the better, more cleaner shots. That's a tough thing to look at. Like in Canelo Triple G, the rematch. Canelo landed the cleaner, harder shots, um, but he got outlanded by Triple G. Canelo got the decision. Um, you know, I've seen that happen before. You had uh, Kelly Pavlik and Jermaine Taylor in their rematch is, is a fight that, I, that sticks out for me. Pavlik boxed in the rematch, landed more punches, but Taylor landed the better, harder shots. And the fight went to Pavlik, though. So it really just comes down to what the judges think. And, you know, one judge had it, uh, I believe it was 7-3 um, for Pedraza. The other one had it 6-4 for Comey. And the third judge had it dead even a draw. So, you know, good fight. Um, both guys, you know, their careers go on without any hitch. And you know what? They, it would have either way if, 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 if the fight would have went to one or the other. But the, the fact that it ended in a draw leaves a rematch open, but it also leaves options open for other guys. Remember, these guys are top ranked fighters, so, uh, and this is a top rank dominated division right now. So, you know, a lot of good things happening. Um, I am going to include both these guys in the top 10 now at 140, and we'll discuss their what's next videos uh, individually next week when I do that. But. Uh, good fight, good action-packed fight. I'm glad to see uh, both guys, you know, get their hands raised, essentially, even though it ended in a draw. It sets up for other things in the future. Hopefully, if there is a rematch, we see a 12-round bout instead of a 10-round bout. But we'll see what happens. But that's the ESPN recap from Saturday, August 27th, that saw um, Pedraza and Comey battle to a 10-round draw. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.